In this video, I want to talk about how we define clades and the role of shared derived characteristics or apomorphies in defining clades. So clades are groups of taxa, tips of trees that share a node, share a common ancestor. So on this tree, we have a clade right here. These two tips share a node. There's a clade with two taxa on it. Here is another clade with two taxa, one tip here, one tip here, a node here. They share that node, they share that common ancestor. We also have a clade with three taxa, that tip, that tip, that tip. They all originate or can be traced back to that node there. So all three of these tips, all three of these taxa have this common ancestor represented by that node. So then we also have a fourth clade with one, two, three, four, five taxa in it. They all originate, can be traced back to that one node. So the yellow box is the two species or the two tips, the two taxa and their common ancestor. And it's key, clades include the common ancestor. The clade always has to include the node. I can't just draw these boxes, don't just include the tips, these boxes always include the, no the node they originate from. So clade one is these two species, these two species, these two tips, and their common ancestor. Species one, species two, and the common ancestor. Species one, two, and three, and the common ancestor in the blue box, and so forth. If we were to exclude that node, we wouldn't properly be defining the clade. In the practice of defining clades, when, when figuring out trees, we don't know the actual relationships, and we have to look at the traits or the characteristics of the organisms. And clades are defined by shared characteristics, by things that are similar that allow us to group organisms together. So here is a clade, amphibians, mammals, lizards, snakes, crocodiles, birds, and turtles. They all have some important shared characteristics. These are all tetrapods. They are all four-limbed organisms. And so we mark the trait here. So that tetrapoda, tetrapods, are defined as a clade, along with their common ancestors, sharing that shared characteristics. Amphibians have a four-limbed. Mammals have four limbs, lizards, and so forth. Snakes, we know from anatomical studies and fossils, used to have four limbs. Shared derived characteristics, shared traits, they only occur in a clade and not in its more distant ancestor. So for example, this clade here, the um, nathostomes, I believe, all have jaws, whereas lamprey don't. So the trait of jaws shows up here, Lamprey do not have jaws, hinged jaws, whereas all these other taxa do, that defines a clade, they, all of them are possessing that trait. So we, we mark the trait here, and that implies that everything downstream of it has that trait. We can also define a clade which has two traits, jaws and uh, lungs. Fish don't have the same type, they process their oxygen through gills, so we can mark lungs on the tree right here. Fish are on this branch, they lack lungs. All of the organisms downstream of this trait, salamanders, lizards, and so forth, they are defined by these two shared traits, lungs and jaws. We can then further divide things up. We can create a clade here, lizards, crocodiles, and birds. We can, they all have scales, Feathers are a type of scales, and um, uh, birds also have scales on their legs, so they're, they're quite changed. So all of this clade here is defined by the presence of jaws, lungs, claws, I skip that, claws, and scales. This clade down here, the, this, these mammals here, primates and rodents, they have jaws, lungs, claws, and fur. We can further subset out um, another clade, crocodiles and birds. They have a gizzard, 
And then birds are the gizzards marked there. Birds have a single trait that is to theirs alone. It is not, it is a derived trait, but it is not a shared trait. Birds have feathers and no other organisms have feathers. So many of these, we can create many groups here. We can create many create, uh, clades that have a shared derived trait, a trait that showed up in evolutionary time, and all the groups downstream of it have that trait, shared derived trait. There's also traits that are unique to a um, taxa, like feathers. So a shared derived trait is called an apomorphy. I don't expect you to know that off the top of your head, but you need to understand the general concept that there's a shared derived trait, a trait that is possessed by all of the organisms within the clade, and ahead of time we don't necessarily know what the clade is, but we can use the presence of apomorphies, of shared derived plates, traits, to help us define clades. Contrast that with an ought apomorphy. Again, you don't need to memorize this, but an ought apomorphy, and ought means self or own, like autonomous, an ought apomorphy is a unique tr derived trait. It is not shared. So think for a second, where are the apomorphies and where are the ought apomorphies? Or what is an ought apomorphy? It's, there's an ought apomorphy listed somewhere on this tree. Think about that for a second. Turn the video off if you have to. So jaws is an apomorphy. It's a derived characteristic. It was derived from however the organisms were back in time. The, the previous anatomical structures, uh, we say uh, from the, the previous structures, jaws were derived. And those jaws are shared by many, many taxa, many, many organisms. So it's a shared derived trait, an, an apomorphy. Lungs are the same way. There were organisms without lungs from those previous anatomical structures evolution derived lungs and lungs are shared by many many taxa downstream of that so we can group multiple organisms together by the presence of lungs same thing with claws scales fur mammary glands and uh, so forth but on this particular tree and, and to some extent apomorphies and ought apomorphies are dependent on exactly what you're putting on a tree but or exactly what taxa you've chosen to present on a tree, but on this particular tree, there's just one taxa that have feathers, and so an ought apomorphy is feathers. There's only one taxa, there's only one group that have feathers, and so we consider feathers to be an apo, excuse me, an ought apomorphy because it's not a shared trait. It's not shared by any of these other taxa here. So an apomorphy, a shared derived character a shared derived trait, an ought apomorphy is a unique trait. Now, ought apomorphies are often really, really interesting. They often are, they can often be very important to um, recognizing or defining a group, especially historical. Um, historically, they are often very important to taxonomists. They often would make a group unique. So birds, if we're looking at just birds as a whole group, ignoring different families and genera and species, if we're just focused on birds and we're comparing them to other, other taxa of the same, same ranks, so crocodile, snakes, turtles, birds have many really interesting, unique characteristics. They have feathers, they're warm-blooded, whereas their next, their, their sister's taxa and their cousins don't have warm-blooded. They also have hollow bones, whereas no other extant taxa have hollow bones. So those are really unique. It makes them seem separate. When we when we put these characteristics on, it makes it seem separate. But odd apomorphies, these unique traits, really aren't that useful for defining clades. In order to define a clade, in order to define groupings, we need shared derived characteristics. So in order to create clades, we want to identify apomorphies, so things they share that um, birds and crocodiles have, birds and snakes have, birds and turtles have, and it's those shared characteristics that define um, all of them as a clade. 
and all of them that defines them they have unique characteristics like scales that make them separate from mammals that define them as a clade here not a traditionally recognized clade by taxonomists but um, makes them separate from mammals and so often in taxonomy our goal is to not recognize um, ought apomorphies that make a single taxa unique, but to recognize apomorphies that allow us to unify groups of taxa into clades.